Welcome back to Power Sap Entertainment, where we put the I in gangsta. So one of the most common things people say about me is that I'm a very chill person. Nothing phases me. Not even chili dogs. Note to self, I had better segue. So the other day I was on campus at a secret spot overlooking the entire school and a couple walked towards me. I was completely relaxed, I had my feet under the table and I was dressing them on a bongo. There was only one other chair besides mine and the couple asked me, do you know where we could find any other chairs? And the guy looked directly at my bongo. But rather than offer up my bongo, I looked him dead in the eyes and said, this is my bongo. Okay, I didn't say that, I just resonated it very hard. That's when I realized that my actions were very similar to those of a jerk, even though I'm not sure how anyone else would have reacted in this situation, voted my poll up to the right. So I figured this would be a good time to prove that, hey, I can be a jerk too, and recount some of my jerkiest moments. It all started the day I was born. My dad had been waiting several hours to see his son. He was sweaty, tired, a third adjective, but that didn't matter as long as he got to see the smile of his firstborn child. So he raised me up, looked at my eyes, and I pissed in his face. Or as he likes to tell me every time that I pass him in the living room. If I could do it differently, I'd definitely go back and give him a firm handshake and hand him my business card. That one's forgivable though, but it is one of those things that certainly gets worse with age. One moment that I think was really bad was during elementary school. I was grading some girl's test and I was super bored. I noticed that she got a bunch of questions wrong, so I made a design out of all her wrong answers. What started out as an innocent drawing soon turned into a completely red piece of paper. I mean, it's not my fault that she doesn't know what 2 plus 2 is. I was taught by the greats. I got 141 and 2 thirds chance of winning! Nevertheless, I gave her back her paper and she started crying. I mean, even I felt bad. I spent a lot of time on that design. She ended up telling my teacher on me and I had to serve time at the wall, which is where you would sit staring at a wall during recess while everybody else played outside. Nowadays, since most kids have phones, I don't think it'd be considered that much of a punishment. In fact, it'd give them more time to catch up on all the hot new Palace Lap Entertainment videos. I actually don't know what ended up happening to that girl, but I'm sure she'll be glad to know that this is me now in basically every math class ever. <laughs> I have, n I have no idea. I, 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 <sighs> that same year, I was sitting in class next to this guy. Let's call him Bruno. Bruno was basically Randall from the show Recess. He always hung out with the lunch ladies and snitched for stupid things like five people playing Foursquare or somebody attempting to burn the school down. Anyways, I was sitting in class and I looked over to my right and I noticed the sound of something spilling. I looked under my desk and I saw a brown puddle. So I asked Bruno, Hey man, I think you spilled your apple juice. And he just shoots me this look like, Not right now, man. And I start getting mad because I come from a multi-child household. Perfectly good apple juice is going to waste. So once again I say, Hey, baby, no, my ice cream. Bruno, your apple juice. And I say it loud enough that I get the attention of the teacher. And when she looks at us, she screams, Oh my goodness, and drops her coffee. Bruno shoots up from his desk, and when he does this, I notice that his pants have water all over them. Suddenly, I piece two and two together. Bruno spilled apple juice all over his pants. No way. Bruno peed his pants. And all the kids in the class turn around and start laughing at him. Haha, -ha, look at him and his lack of bladder control. Indubitably. To this day, I feel bad about it because Bruno ended up switching schools. I don't know, but if Bruno was telling this story, I'd probably be an antagonist. But what was I supposed to do? Let him pee? Now that I'm older, if I saw somebody peeing their pants, I'd probably just let them stay in their lane. Who knows what kind of stuff they've been through. Anyways, those are all the jerk stories I have for now, other than the time I accidentally burnt down that orphanage. But that story's not that funny. It's just a lot of corpses. Anyways, feel free to share your jerk stories down below. <laughs> feel free to share your jerk stories down below. And let's try to reach our like goal of 32 million before tomorrow.